But I want to talk to you very quick because, you know, let me tell you this. People out there, they are so hungry for something more. People in the world, I'm talking about, about believers, you know, I'm talking about Christians. They are hungry for something more. So many people, they are tired of the same uh, you know, Sundays after Sunday after Sunday going to the church. I could see how people, they are hungry for something more than two hours per week, per Sunday. They want something more. They want to experience the life that we read in the book of Acts. And let me tell you something. Every week I see people like, I see, you know, uh, uh, um, yeah. Yeah, we're going to launch a new church and this and this and this. Listen, what I believe is that we don't have to launch another church. What I believe is that we have to launch out there is disciples. Is disciples who make disciples who make disciples. There are too many institutional churches and too less disciples that they are going actually out there and do what God called us to do. We don't need our city doesn't need another church, institutional church. You know what our city needs? Our city needs disciples, they need believers who are going to listen and obey what Jesus tells them to do and do and go in the harvest. That's what our cities and our towns need. Yeah, we are going to launch a new, new church. When are we going to launch disciples? The world needs disciples who make disciples who make... Let me tell you something. There are so many... And I'm just going to say it as it is in this video. I'm just going to talk. I'm going to share with you what I have on my heart, really. I don't care. Listen, there are so many people in the church that there are spiritual zombies. Spiritual zombies. They are, they, there's no life inside of, of them. They are going to the same church, to the same building for 20, 40 years. Never casted out a demon, never healed the sick, never baptized somebody because the pastor said that they are not allowed to do that. The pastor said that they are not allowed to, to do this. I have, have been hearing stories this week. I was, I was shocked. There was a family uh, that I met this week. And they said, Alex, we were kicked out from our church because I dared to baptize somebody. How crazy is this? They were kicked out from their church because they dared to baptize somebody. When actually this is what we are called to do. But let me tell you something. There's so much control. This, this is absolutely crazy. There's so much control in the church you have no idea. And let me tell you something. Maybe you think, oh, Alex is against church. Maybe you think, oh, Alex is against... I'm not against church. What I'm against, let me tell you what I'm against. What I'm against is the religious system behind the church. That religious system that when you try to step out and do what God called you to do, they try to stop you, that, that, that demonic control. There is so much hunger, there are so many believers out there that they are longing for something more. That they desire for something more than just this. Something more than just going to... Listen, do you really think that God wants you to go... I mean, did Jesus pay the price for you? He paid a, such a great price with His life. He gave His own life for you. To go, for you just to go two hours on a Sunday to church and that's it? Is this really what it means to follow Jesus? Is this really what it means to be a believer, to be a disciple of Jesus? Going Sunday after Sunday to the same church, two hours, and that's it. And I call myself a believer. And there's so many of us, of us out there that we are longing for something more. You know, when I've been into Exeter this week, these days, so many believers, they were longing for something more. They were like, we need something more than just Sunday after Sunday after Sunday. We need something different. And there are so many people in the church. Let me tell you, so many spiritual zombies. There are so many people that are going to the same place for so many years, but they never experience the life that God has for them in the, in, the, in the Bible. And God wants you to experience the same life. God wants you to... To experience the life that He has for you in His war. Because that's why He died for you and for me on the cross. For us to live a free life. He died for you and for me on the cross. So that we can every day live a, a life free of condemnation. A life of what He tells us in His word. But let me tell you something. There are so many religious 
leaders out there that when you start to step out, when you start to do what God called you to do, like this couple, you know, they try to baptize somebody and they kick them out from the church. They try to baptize somebody and so straight away they kick them out from the church because you are not allowed to baptize people because, you know, you are not called to baptize people. I'm, you know, you need, I need to anoint you before you, you, you baptize people. Well, who says that? Who says that you cannot baptize people, that you cannot heal the sick, that you cannot do what God called you to do? And there is so many people in the church these days that they are longing for something more, that they are longing for the life that we read in the book of Acts. But because of the religious system, or re let me tell you something. There are two things that are going to stop the power of God in your life. Religion and tradition. These two things, they are going to stop, they are going to kill the life in, in, in you and me.